So I want to start this video off by saying what I was doing at the time. Um, when the engine fire occurred, I was moving the car into the garage to look at the fuel pump um, so I could jack up the rear end, drop the tank, etc, etc. Um, but the problem was that I was backing up and then I saw a fire in the engine bay. And then I got close and this fuel sprayed onto me and caught myself on fire. Um, I actually had my hand engulfed in flames. Um, it was pretty scary at the time. But um, here's my hand. Uh, you can see where that big red spot is. I've got blisters all over my hands. Most of them are popped. Um, to take care of things. But then I had to run and go get some water um, from my friend's house. He was right next door to the garage. And I had to move his car and threw like two buckets of water on it. And then it finally went out. So this is going to be going through what happened. Uh, and some of the things that were damaged. Um, there was a fuel leak somewhere on the rail and some spark caused it. I'm going to get down to the bottom of where the leak was and what happened and replace the parts that need replaced. But first we're going to go over the damage. Okay guys, here we are in the beginning stages. This is just without anything really taken off. I just took the strut bar off and pulling out the spark plugs now. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, but a big indication is this blanket up here. Uh, the fire was actually deep within the engine, actually under the lower intake manifold, so apparently a lot of fuel had leaked. Uh, here we've got a little bit of damage on the wire here, as well as my... We come in here, I don't know where the air filter went. But here is some bad scorching here. Um, none of it was really behind the engine, it was all just in the lower intake. So we might find some burned up wires or some random stuff as we get in there. But for now, it's not too bad on the outside, so hopefully the injectors aren't shut and not too much is damaged. Pulling the three spark plug wires out from the area of where the fire was, because the other side really wasn't touched. This was the only side that was actually affected. I will check the, all the you know injectors when it comes off, but all the spark plug wires look good, which is awesome. They do smell of fuel, so I feel like one of the injectors may have been leaking. So it looks like I got really lucky. Um, I can tell you why there only leaks on the passenger side of the engine it is because there are only leaks on the passenger side of the engine. If you look right here, well, I can get in there as to what. And the front one is what. These two are the ones causing the leaks. Fun. Um, that's why the engine bay caught fire. Um, I think they just flooded the spark plug wheels. And then that's what actually ignited it. So I only have to replace a little bit of fuel hose. Um, the connectors. I have to replace one actual connector because the wire burned up. Um, I'll probably go through all these wires just to double check. This is the worst one out of the bunch. I don't know if that one's going to make it, but we'll see. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so in conclusion, um, it looks like only one, two, three wires were actually affected by the fire. This one was, but I don't even use that sensor anymore. So I'm just going to cap that off. Um, I think I fixed the fuel lines. situation. Um, then I can't find any other part where it's going to be sparking. So I'll get my tools together and the parts and we'll go ahead and replace these things because I think it's not too far off from being okay. So there we go. So thanks for watching. Um, this came after I replaced a fuel pump in it. So make sure after you replace your fuel pump with the higher flow one that you check your 
your hose connectors because apparently this stuff can happen and you don't want it to happen to you. So, have a great day.